Hello, my oily friends. My name is Melissa Miller, and I'm here today. I want to share with you a few things, not really oil product related, if you will, like not on how to use your oils, but how doTERRA's healing hands and co-impact sourcing works so that you realize that when you're buying a bottle of oil or using your oils, that it's so much more than just a bottle of oil, right? That you're literally making a difference in the world somewhere. So, and just how many different um, organizations and good things that doTERRA does, because it's important to know a, a little bit more about the, the company that you're supporting when you're buying your oils. And I think it's amazing. And I've learned a ton over the years and it didn't really make sense to me at the beginning. There was too much, it didn't, didn't all connect. So I wanted to share it with you as, as clearly as I could so that hopefully you'll learn sooner than I did. Anyway, so here we go. So let's get started. So doTERRA's healing hand vision is this, that it empowers people and communities worldwide to make a positive and sustainable change, right? So they're not giving a hand out, but giving a hand up. So trying to improve the quality of people's lives in a sustainable way. So teaching Amanda Fish, if you will. All right, so the Healing Hand Foundation focuses on, there's three pillars to it. So there's the first part is, is, is co-impact sourcing. And we'll talk about that. It's kind of the, we think of it as the biggest piece, but it's not necessarily. The second, the second one is partners, corporate partners. So other companies that they partner with who are already doing amazing things in the world, those companies that they partner with and help fund some of their projects. And then the third is wellness advocate projects. And so those are just projects, organizations that people are passionate about and excited about like you and I, and you want to contribute to it. And so doTERRA will do a dollar to dollar, dollar for dollar match on whatever your fundraising efforts may be and help you with product or whatever it is to um, support that organization and accomplish whatever your goal is. Okay, so let's get started. So we'll break it down. So first we're gonna do co-impact sourcing. And so basically what this is, is it's um, working directly with the farmers to bring the maximum benefit to that community and then finding other projects that doTERRA can do in the area to support that community. Um, so it's much more eloquently written here than that though. So it talks about, you know, they're trying to ensure the best growing conditions. They are, um, let's see. Oh, uh, okay. So I'll just say the, the last paragraph really sums it up. So when doTERRA looks for sourcing partnerships, we deliberately choose locations where we can improve the individual, social, economic, and environmental well-being while producing the highest equality, highest quality essential oil. So that's that that's a good in a nutshell right there. So how are the ways that they go about doing this? So, like I said, they the first thing is they cut up the middleman. So um, growers are were were often, you know, kind of unorganized. They kind of kept them in the dark on a lot of things, a lot of, you know, in between people who would, who would take advantage of them. And doTERRA has, has really cut that out, is working directly with those, the farmers and really working on educating them on how to get the best plants, which then results in the best product. Um, they're giving them resources so that they can continue to grow the best, best products. So sometimes before, you know, the farmers would harvest plants immaturely, just so that they could get paid, but then that resulted in, in a, you know, lower quality essential oil. So doTERRA's, you know, like, okay, no, we're going to pay you um, consistently throughout the year so that you're leaving that plant in the ground, you know, you're getting paid to grow it and not just for the harvest. And so that we're going to get a better, a better quality essential oil. Um, and then that keeps the prices more consistent, more sustainable, and it just improves, well, improves so many things, right? All, all around. And we'll get to some more of this here in a minute. Okay, so we're going to give a few examples of this. So first we have up is, is vetiver, which is sourced in Haiti. And um, years ago, doTERRA started working with them and, 
and um, told a few stories like at conventions and whatnot about how they have helped build schools, they've helped get them clean water and helped drill wells because they found the kids were spending three hours of their day walking to go fetch water for the family for the day instead of going to school. So they drilled a well and, and built a school and hired a teacher. So it's just, anyway, it's amazing the differences that they've they've made in all these different communities. But that's that's one example right there. So vetiver in Haiti. So whenever I open my bottle of vetiver, I think of those people getting their clean drinking water and this, the kids going to school and, and how much that has changed and blessed their lives, right? And helping break the cycle of poverty. Um, another example is cardamom, which is sourced in Guatemala. And this has just helped creating so many more jobs, which again is helping break the cycle of poverty and helping bring like education and renewed perspective to these people, right? They're not in that scarcity mindset all the time. Um, Frankincent, which is um, sourced in a few different countries, right? But Oman, Somalia, and Ethiopia. And this one, it says right here, so in these communities, doTERRA has done things like um, built a school, you know, helped with drought relief efforts. So helping get some water for them and helping get clean water for them, filtering systems. And they've even um, worked to provide a healthcare facility, a, a facility in Somalia land. So some really, really cool efforts that bless their lives in ways of things that we take for granted and can't even imagine, right? Um, Wintergreen and Spikenard are both sourced in Nepal. And this is old, um, not old, but three years ago, there was an earthquake there, big earthquake, if you remember that in Nepal, and um, doTERRA donated um, about $2 million for um, helping them rebuild homes and, and schools and hospitals and healthcare centers. So they've done a lot. So these are all things that are associated with their co-impact sourcing, right? So they're helping really bless these communities and in so many ways who are sourcing oils for us. Okay, so just recently at doTERRA's leadership, they came out with so what they called high impact oils. And these oils are ones that when you're buying a bottle of, of this oil, this oil is doing so much more good than some of the other bottles of oils may be doing, right? So these are the ones that do the most good in the world, if you will, for the source, for the communities and countries which they're sourced. So we have tea tree, geranium, ginger, cardamom, lemon eucalyptus, copaiba, uh, lemongrass, wild orange, turmeric, and helichrysum. So, and look at the countries there, right? That you're you're helping contribute to when you're when you're buying these oils. It's just it's so cool. Okay, and then they went on to say, okay, that was the top ten, and now here's the top twenty six. You know, so starting from that helichrysum down, then what are the next ones that are the next most doing the biggest difference. So we have from there on, we have peppermint, frankincense, wintergreen, ylang ylang, cypress, pettigreen, fennel, pettigreen, fennel, neroli, vanilla, spearmint, cinnamon, jasmine, vetiver, pink pepper, clove, and basil. And then these are all the blends over on the side that contain some of those high impact oils. So this is really cool. So if you're one, you're, you know, you're like, oh, I don't really, you know, care which oil I get. If you're that way and you just want something good in the diffuser, grab one of those top 10. Um, I've been diffusing recently a few drops of geranium with some bergamot, which is not a high impact oil, but that's one way to use geranium because that's one that I, that I didn't use a lot. Um, so if you're one like that, then just grab it with the wild orange. Wild orange is always on my list for LRP, right? Because that's always in the diffuser with a combination of something, it seems. So you do that with the with geranium. There you go. Instead of the instead of the bergamot. Anyway, okay. So that's co-impact sourcing in a very brief nutshell. We could go on about it for days, but we're not. So now we're going to get into corporate sponsorships. So what are those corporate sponsorships that DoTerra works with? Who do they work with? So the first organization that they work with are, is um, Days for Girls International, and this is an amazing organization that works to provide um, hygiene kits for girls, feminine hygiene kits for girls in countries where it's not available to them. And so then these girls they're finding are 
well, first, let me back up and tell you the person who started Days for Girls, I forget her name right now, but her, her, her big dream was to end world poverty. So she's like, how can I do that? What would be the biggest um, way to end that? She said it would be through education. And how can I help people, you know, boys and girls stay in school? And she found, she's like, okay, the biggest problem is girls dropping out of school. And why is that? Because of having their, when they have their period, they don't go to school because they didn't have any way to, you know, stop the bleeding or anything. And so they would just stop, go to school, and then they would get behind, and then they just would never go back. So she has set out, her mission is to just educate these girls on how their body works, what's going on with their body. That it's not a bad thing to, for a girl to have her period and that how she can care for herself when she does have one. And so she makes these little bags or well, and gets people to make them like doTERRA and the advocates and whoever else. And they put together a few, um, a few pairs of underwear and some reusable pads that they can use that they can wash and put in there and a little, little travel size bar of soap that she sticks in there. And then with some little information on what is the period and what is going on in your body and how often does it happen and all that stuff. So anyway, it's pretty cool. Anyway, I love it. And it, doTERRA has had several in the past as far as um, has had several um, events where they put together hygiene kits or make things, sewing things for the girls, days for girls. And it's, it's a beautiful organization. Okay, and another one. Oh, look, here was another picture of these cute girls. I think it's so fun. They all love their little bags. Um, so the second one that doTERRA works with the most is Mentors International. And the biggest thing that they do is micro lending. So they'll lend small amounts of money to people. Most of it, it seems to be as women, but um, in small amounts of money so that they can start their own business and find a way to provide for their own families or help contribute to their family income. So for example, oh, actually, okay. So first right here, this little stat. So $77 million has been loaned through my co-loan lending program with a 97% um, repayment rate. That's pretty awesome. So that's Mentors International. So here's a story and an example. And I can't remember how, I think this woman's name is Liliana and she, um, was loaned, I want to say it was only like a hundred or two hundred dollars at the most. And that's what those micro lens usually are. They're usually right around a hundred dollars. And she used her money to buy materials to make soap. And so she made the soap or makes the soap and then sells it in her village and area. Well, she loved it so much and wanted to pay, give back, if you will, that she started teaching other women how to make soap so that they could then sell soap in their communities and their villages. So a few cool things that this has done. Number one, it's increased um, in income um, possibilities for these women. The second thing is, is that it has improved their hygiene, right? So things are cleaner, people are cleaner, they're gonna be less disease, less, less germs, less sickness and illness around. So what a cool way to make the world a better place, right? It's a big impact. All right. And so then the third way, so that's, so we have co-impact sourcing. Number two is the corporate partnerships and number three are wellness advocate projects. And so this, there's so many different ways that you can be involved in this. So, but you just basically find a organization that you want to partner with somebody that you, an organization that you're passionate about, does something amazing. You apply to doTERRA. It's usually through your diamond upline, and then you just start fundraising and then you make a difference, like it says right here. Um, and to read more about any of this stuff, just go to healinghands.com on doTERRA's. It's either through their website and you can get through there, but it's also a separate website as well. But, um, and then you can read about this wellness advocate projects. You can see there's like pages and pages and pages of different wellness advocate projects and see what types of things are people doing. Um, so many different things. There are things for the Ukraine right now. There's things for hunger fighting um, things. There's um, clean water. Um, another project that was helping kids who were aging out of orphanages and helping um, provide means for them. So anyway, all kinds of, all kinds of projects there you can look through. 
Okay, so if you don't wanna you know, do the match thing and that's okay, because that's a lot of work sometimes for some people, um, how are ways that we can that we can contribute to healing hands other than being a part of their tear and buying your oils, right? What else can you do if you wanna do more than that? So there are a few things you can do. The first is to purchase the rose hand lotion. And so it is a lovely lotion and who doesn't love rose? It smells so beautiful. I love the smell of rose, but um, doTERRA donates 100%, 100% of this product purchase to Healing Hands donation. They don't take any out to cover the cost of the bottle or the lotion or the oil or anything else like that. They donate all of that for us to purchase. And then the whole purchase price goes to Healing Hands. That's amazing. They also do it with the Hope Blend. So the Hope Blend goes to specifically to help fighting against human trafficking, anti-human trafficking and this one is a beautiful blend. It is, I used it a lot during COVID when we were locked down and stuff and would just use it as a, as a perfume. So right there provides, helps with feelings of overwhelm, hope, wanting to give up, courage, all those things, low energy, confidence. It's just a beautiful emotional support oil to use. So it comes in a roller blend. It's the same price as also the, actually one's 20, one's, no, they're both 20. And um, you can, um, yeah, know that 100% of your, of your purchase price is going towards a Healing Hands donation. Okay, so another way that you can donate is to simply click on your LRP. You can click right there in that little box in the bottom right. It says donate $1 to Healing Hands, this little screenshot of, a, of an LRP. And then... It will, once you've donated, it will just pop up to healing hands in your cart. It'll show there for $1 and you can change it to $5 or $10 or whatever it is that you want to do. Super easy. And then at the end of the year, doTERRA will send you a little thank you note. And, um, like with your tax, a little form for your taxes so that you can write that part off if you so choose to. So, and then the last way that you can do that you can contribute is through there are 72 hour emergency kits that they have that they supply to people. These, I have been all about these lately. I am so excited. I love these. So you can purchase the kits. They are, you can buy one for $25 or you can buy four for a hundred. These ones actually count as PV. The other ones or have PV attached to them. The other ones do not. The lotion and the Hope Blend do not have any PV attached to it because doTERRA is already donating the product. And then they're donating the the 100 of your um purchase price to healing hands foundation this one's a little different because the price that you're paying the 25 dollars is going towards the purchase of the kit and the assembly of the kit so you do get pv so if you buy one for 25 dollars, it's 25 pv so and you do end up getting points back on it um so this is a great thing to do because you'll also get a little letter for these ones, right? Saying, hey, thank you for your donations this year to Healing Hands through your, you know, emergency hygiene kits that you purchased. You know, here's your, you know, a couple hundred dollars or whatever it is for your tax benefit. Um, so this is a great option with the new shipping um, guidelines. If there's something you don't want to buy, but like, or you don't have anything that you really need but you don't want to lose your LRP and you want, don't want to pay for the shipping. You just buy one hygiene kit. It's a $25 tax deduction and you don't have to pay for the shipping. So there's a thought. Um, but I love these because the, here's the other cool piece. Obviously these are going to people who are in need, like homeless shelters, you know, people where there's been disasters like floods or fires or, you know, hurricanes, whatever it is. And they take these there to provide you know, life sustaining items that people are needing. So, and comfort, I guess it's all not just life. It's, just, it's, it's comfort as well. Um, so it, you can see what it comes with a toothbrush, a little towel, some deep blue rubs some bandages, a little bar of soap, um, the shampoo conditioner and a, and a roller of tea tree, which is great because tea tree is good for everything. Right. And it's a high impact oil. So that's great, but it's good for a Maluka, sorry, tea tree. Um, and you can use that one for everything. You can use that, you know, for athlete's foot, for 
you know, little cuts and scrapes for rashes or little infections or little things that they might have on their skin. It's just so good for helping keep things clean, which is usually a big issue in times of emergency, right? When there is an emergency. So it's a great little topical antiseptic, if you will. So then the other cool thing about these is that you can request to have hygiene kits sent to your house if you have a place where you want to distribute them. So for example, I, um, I first did some to some women's shelters. So where women would, uh, women would flee to if they were trying to leave their home from an abusive situation, they would go to these temporary shelters. So I found out that there was a need for this. So I wrote to doTERRA and asked if I could have some. They said, sure, how many do you want? I told them, and then they ship them to me. You just inventory them, and then you deliver them to the, the shelters. So, um, and then I've taken some to our YWCA for where a lot of kids and um, refugee families usually end up going to, to get some temporal support. And anyway, it's been really cool. It's, it's been a really cool thing to, to be able to deliver these um, to those organizations. And so, yeah, I think I've... I think I've delivered, I don't know, like 300 or something in the last, in the last two years, but it's been really, it's been really fun. And now I have people, you know, organizations that will reach back out to me, you know, the next year, like they did, you know, this year. And I, can we get any more of those that were such a big hit and people loved them. They were so helpful. And anyway, so it's good, right? It's amazing. I love knowing that we're making a difference. Okay. So in closing, so every simple act of goodness contributes to changing the world, one drop, one person, one community at a time. And that is literally what it's all about, right? Like we're here on this planet all together and why not try to make it a better place? Because if we all do small, simple things, they all make a really big difference. They really, truly do. So not to be like, you know, rose colored glasses or not, but it, it, it does make a difference. And um, yeah, so thanks for tuning in and I hope that you have a great day and please let me know if there's anything that I can do to help you with your, with your oils and your oil journey in any way, shape or form and drop any comments too that you have for me or questions. Okay. Have a great day guys. Bye.